the gospel is one of those words that is easy for us to take for granted because we handle it so often that it becomes a catch-all for all sorts of good things. And that's a danger because it's a very precise term. Gospel is not equivalent to whatever is good and important in Christianity. Gospel is a very particular word or kind of speech in the Bible. From Genesis to Revelation, the gospel is God's promise of a son who will crush the serpent's head, forgive the sins of his people, raise them from the dead, and give them everlasting life solely on the basis of his grace for the sake of Christ. Now, euangelion is simply good news, particularly uh, associated with military battle. So a uh, runner would return to the capital from the battlefield with the announcement, the euangelion, of uh, success on the battlefield. So it's a victory report. It's sort of like the headlines that we, we've all heard about for World War II being concluded. Uh, victory in Europe. That is exactly what the, the gospel is. And that's why it's not just good news because of its content. It's good news in the form of its delivery. It's not good advice. The gospel never tells us something to do. The gospel tells us about something that's been done. We hear people say today, uh, you know, we need to live the gospel, uh, need to do the gospel. But actually, we need to do the law. You can't do the gospel. That's a category mistake. It's the most fundamental, basic, theological mistake that you can possibly make to confuse the law with the gospel. Now, the law is good. Doing things, doing what God commands is absolutely important. But it's not the good news. It's not the gospel. And if we confuse those two things, we'll make ourselves partly our own saviors. Uh, we are saved. We do not extend Christ's incarnation. We do not contribute to his redeeming and reconciling work in the world. We are the ones who are redeemed and are telling everyone else about it. We are witnesses to his redeeming work, not extensions of it. So that's what I would say uh, we need desperately today, greater clarity about what we mean by the gospel. Uh, we've got gospel music and gospel crusades and gospel tracts and gospel this and gospel that. What we need is more concentration on the gospel itself and stop trying to fill up that basket with anything and everything that we think is interesting.